What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we're back with episode number 57 of our Pay or Stay series. Guys, today we have a good one for you today. We have the Zamoraki and Hasta going up against the Noxious Halberd. For those of you who do not know, the Noxious Halberd is a new weapon introduced to the game with the release of Araxor, the new Spider Slayer boss. And as a result, it also came with the Amulet of Rancor, which I will be featuring in the next comparison, so stick around for that. If you guys do enjoy the Pay or Stay series and want to see more, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Video, subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know in the comment section what comparison you'd want to see next with that being said guys let's hop right into the comparison so guys starting with the zamoraki and hasta it is relatively unpopular due to its shared xp styles it does have a 70 attack requirement and it is one-handed it has a stab bonus of 110 a strength bonus of 81 and a plus two prayer bonus keep in mind the stab and strength bonus include those with the dragon defender and it comes at a cost of 3.2 mil and it is non-degradable moving on to the noxious house Halberd, it is the newest two-handed Araxor weapon with an 80 attack requirement. It has a slash bonus of 132 and a strength bonus of 142. It has a special effect in which it has a 33% chance to envenom your opponents, which goes up to 50% with a serpentine helmet. At the moment, it's trading at 27 million GP and it is non-degradable. This gives us a price difference of 744% between the two weapons. And guys, one thing to keep in mind is that the Zamoraki and Hasta has a 4 tick attack speed compared to the 5 of the Noxious Halberd, so we will see if that does make a significant difference in the XP rates. Now with the comparison out of the way guys, let's hop right into the Nightmare Zone. And guys, we will be starting with the Zamoraki and Hasta, I'll see you guys after 30 minutes. One hour later. And guys, there goes the timer for the Zamoraki and Hasta, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the Noxious Halberd, and I'll see you guys after another 30 minutes. One eternity later. And guys, there goes the timer for the Noxious Halberd, I'm gonna go ahead and make some final calculations, and I'll see you guys for the final recap. And guys, we are back for the final recap, so let's get right into it. And guys, as you can see, the starting and ending XP for both weapons look extremely different different and that is because for the Hasta I did use my defensive style and with the Halberd I use strength. The reason I did not use defensive mode with the Halberd was because the defensive style uses stab and the Noxious Halberd stab bonus is significantly reduced compared to its slash and as a result it would be unfair for me to use the stab style on the Noxious Halberd and that is why I use strength. Now with the Zamoraki and Hasta, I did get an XP rate of 99,000 defense XP an hour, and from 90 to 99 defense, it'll take me 78 hours. For the Noxious Halberd, I have 99 strength, so I'm not going to use the time metric. I did get an XP rate of 106,000 strength XP an hour, which is a 7% increase. As a result, from the raw XP rates, there is an upgrade cost of 3,400 GP per XP. Now for this video guys, because I did use two different attack styles, ultimately the verdict will be up to you, but if I had the choice between picking one of these two weapons based on the raw XP rates and the cost, I would say stay with the Zamoraki and Hasta, as you're paying over 24 million GP more for the Noxious Halberd in order to get a 7% increase. Now like I said before, it is up to your personal needs on what you need to train. If you need to train defense, then the Noxious Halberd is not a good option but if you need to train strength then I definitely say choose the halberd as you cannot train strength with the Zamoraki and Hasta on its own. And before we end this video guys I do want to say that I am working on my very first piece of merchandise for this channel so stay tuned next episode for an announcement. However I really hope you guys really enjoyed this comparison. I will be trying to do the Amulet of Rancor in the next one. If you did enjoy this one please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let me know in the comments section which comparison you'd want to see next. I hope you guys take good care of yourselves and until next time guys, peace.